now tuned in to another edition of Conversations with Caprice. And today, I have Miss Shelly Jones, founder of Rooted for Life Mentoring Program. How are you? I am good, thank you. Woo, woo. Woo, woo. <laughs> <laughs> now, you have this awesome program for uh, the community's youth. And what is your mission statement? Our mission statement is very simple. We are here in the community to help educationally and personally enhance the lives of our community's youth through integrity building programs and life skill resources. This was the first year of the program. This was our first year. <laughs> <laughs> and so have you reached any of your goals this year through your mission statement? And You know what? I think we've done very well. One of the main things that we wanted was to be able to take our kids on college tours and to be able to let them visit different campuses. And so one of the greatest things that we were able to do is have them spend the night on a college campus. And so that gave them an opportunity to be independent, to learn the college life, quote, quote, and to even go to classes with some of the students from that college. So I think we've done very well in our first year. Good. What was the students' reaction to that day? We had a very mixed reaction. Some of the students were just like almost culture shocked because a lot of them just had not been outside of, you know, the four walls of, of their environment. So to be able to get onto a campus that was outside of, of L.A. with a mixture of people to be on your own, some of them really took to it, and some of them were like, okay, <laughs> maybe I'm not as ready uh -oh. <laughs> as I thought. But either way, I think it was a good experience yeah, for that's them. Yeah, a good experience. <laughs> yes. Like reality. Exactly. <laughs> so that that was the point of that trip, to really bring them into reality. So I think we accomplished our goal. I'm sure you did. <laughs> So you mentioned uh, the college tour. What are some other resources that your program provides? One of the greatest things that we provide is mentorship. We're able to give our kids mentors. We're able to take them on college tours. We want to do small things, which are really big things. So life skill things, um, social building activities, take you bowling, take you to plays. You know, um, this year I'd like to do an etiquette class and a finance class because once you leave from high school into college, there's so many companies out there that are trying to get you to get this credit card and get that right. credit card and our kids are not prepared so they snatch up you know all of these credit cards go into debt so one of the things we would like to provide this year is some type of financial awareness okay you know so those are just some of the things that um that That's you very get important. it is because it is <laughs> seriously like you said the, the debt is mm -hmm. very important um a lot of people don't know how to use their credit cards exactly. they, they just need to have money right and, you know, spend this it's like you have to pay it back you do and have to pay that now. back <laughs> and one of the the other things we would like to do is even something simple as taking them to the bank mm -hmm. and allowing them just to show them how to open up a checking yeah. and savings account. So those are some things that may seem simple. You know, those are things that I was taught in school, but a lot of those things have been taken away. Oh, yeah, they mm -hmm. have been. And plus, a lot of parents are really, really involved. So the parents would just open the accounts instead exactly, of exactly exactly and own. i opened my own account you know and i never got caught into the credit card um thing you know mm -hmm. but that's me there's so many other kids they just get so excited you know mm -hmm. about being out and being on their own so we want to try to help them understand how to save money you know stocks and bonds and really help set you up for that transition yeah and prevent debt exactly <laughs> <laughs> what are some of your challenges uh past year? Oh my goodness. I think the greatest challenge probably for every nonprofit, including mine, is um, funding. Mm -hmm. And that's probably one of the greatest things along with our not having a permanent building right now. So just depending on other places to be able to hold our classes. And we've been very, very fortunate to be able to use, you know, one place this year. Um, but I think that's always the biggest thing, you know, getting your name out there and really exposing yourself and allowing people to find out more about the program. If I can get that under control and get that funding coming in, I think we'll be halfway there. <laughs> so what makes your nonprofit different and why should people become a part of Rooted for Life mentoring program. Now, when you say people, do you mean mentors? Do you mean the kids? kids or? And the, the parents who want to get their kids involved. Mm -hmm. I think one of the greatest things, there's so many different mentorships mm -hmm. out there. So in that aspect, we're just adding to what's already out there. But I think the thing that makes us just a little bit different is that not only do we do our life skills, but I'm not a person who's like a, a in-the-box person. So when I want to teach you something, like our budgeting mm -hmm. For example, I don't want to just sit down and teach you budgeting. My thing is, here's a certain amount of money. We're all going to go to the grocery store. I'm going to give you a list now. Everyone has to work together, get everything on the list, and then we'll go back and cook it. Look at all the things that I've taught you. Mm -hmm. 
just in an outside setting. So I think that's one of the things, because I'm a person who's a very hands-on person, that's kind of how I like to, to influence the kids. And we also want to try to do an aftercare program um, and not just leave you there, right. you know, once you leave the program, that's it. We want to keep up with you and, and still encourage you and find a way to, to still keep in contact with you. I haven't developed that part yet, but I'm working on it. <laughs> yeah, as long as you're working on it, as long as you have goals. <laughs> so you had uh, some guest speakers and... We did, we did. We had some really wonderful guest speakers this year. We had a television producer come out and she came and she was a motivational speaker for us. We also had a gospel recording artist come out, Melissa Hayward. She came out and she gave an amazing testimony. She was also a motivational speaker, but Melissa's story was just incredible of how she conquered being addicted to crack cocaine. Mm -hmm. And now she's brought herself back and she is an indie award winning gospel recording artist now. So I think the kids were like, what? <laughs> you know, what? Get out of here. And so that was really, really amazing. So I like to be able to do both ends. Everyone doesn't have to have that, you know, um, in their life where they've conquered those type of things. But we also have motivational speakers who've never been involved in any type of drinking or smoking or anything like that. And that's, you know, very motivating too, mm -hmm. to be able to see that. So we had that in our TV producer, Sharon Alexander. So that was wonderful. We, we had a great time. <laughs> and you also had some classes. Tell me about some of the classes you provided. We did. One of our major classes that I really enjoyed was our Casey prep class. And and so in our KC prep class, we did we did just that, tried to help the kids with test-taking skills and tried to help them become a little more familiar. Now, of course, you can pass all of your courses, but if you can't pass the KC, then... You know, yeah, exactly. So one of our main things was to be able to provide that. And like I said, next year we want to do a little bit more expanding as far as finances and things like that. We also um, had our SAT class okay. that really that we did. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and our writing class, which was very instrumental to the kids, teaching them how to write a personal statement. Because as you know, it's so critical to know how to write for all of these different essays and, and scholarships and things that, that you're going to be trying to receive. So I think I think that was a very, very wonderful class that we had, which was our, our writing class. You touched on next year a little bit that you want to expand a little more. What mm -hmm. else do you want or have goals for in the future with the program? Well, right now we're just doing our mentoring and scholarship program, but in the future we would also like to add our basketball camp, yeah. and that's going to be our summer basketball <laughs> camp. All right, I'm going to throw a little something in there. Might miss, but that's all right. <laughs> and then eventually we'd like to go ahead and open up a performing arts center because that's where my heart is. Yeah. I love performing arts. I um, I can't. What can you do, girl? I could get my act on. Okay, <laughs> I see it. <laughs> I'd like to say that I can sing, but that I just be liking. <laughs> Does everyone else think you can sing? <sighs> One says yes. One says no. She has her children here. And one of them raised her hand like, yeah, she can sing. And the oldest one is like, nah. You know, I bless the Lord every time. <laughs> that's all that matters. <laughs> so that's really near and dear to my heart. Um, I'm really looking forward to opening that. That won't happen for a few years. But okay. those are, are some of our long-term goals. And hopefully next summer we will have the basketball camp up and running. So that will be our summer activity. And that will I think that will enhance us very much. So I'm excited. Yeah, it should be. Yeah. <laughs> what has been the reaction to your program from the parents of mm -hmm. the mentees, the mentors? We're really blessed. We have really had some some really good feedback, you know. Um, and I have to say, we really, even though it was our first year and we were really kind of struggling trying to put things together, we were really blessed to have some really great mentors. Our parents, I was so overwhelmed by the kind things that the parents said. I, I just didn't know what to say. What kind of things did they say? Oh, my goodness. We had one parent say that our program had really made a difference in her son's lives. And one of her sons graduated and her other son said, oh, definitely, I want to come back to Rooted. Oh, wow. So to me, that was just so touching that the child was saying, you know, you don't have to try to put me back in. I want to be 
to be there again. We had another parent who went on to say that she just really was encouraged by the fact of how we took the kids out and how we took them to college campuses and how we were involved in every aspect of their lives because that really is our goal. We want to be able to touch every aspect of your life. We want to touch you spiritually. We want to touch you financially. We want to touch you mentally. You know, we want to wrap our arms around this community. And so to be able to have that kind of feedback from our mentors and from kids, it was just very heart heartwarming. <laughs> well, we have one of the mentees here, Miss Brene Jones, and we'll let her give her a testimony of the program. What did you learn or what were the benefits of the organization? One thing that I've learned is how to properly balance your time when you go to college. Time is very important. I also learned, um, I never really knew how to study, but I know how to study better now. And she taught about time management, and that really stuck out to me because I did not know how to study at all. So that's and been working for you? It, it helped when I studied one time. <laughs> <laughs> See, first she had to start studying, right. and then she can use some of the skills. I saw the results, and I saw them. <laughs> so that's all that matters. <laughs> so you went to the college campus too, right? Yes. And how was that experience for you? It was wonderful. I loved the school, period, you know, so. What university was A Biola it? University. Okay. I actually knew about the university before the tour was arranged for the program. So I already had a love for the school. So I was already excited, like, come on, guys, we're going to go. You know, you're going to have so much fun. Even if they didn't, I still have fun. But so. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's awesome. And uh, what advice would you give to anyone coming into the program? Anyone coming into the program, I would tell them to come in with an open heart. I know it's hard to open up to people you don't know, but coming in with an open heart, the mentors are very, very nice, and they just want to reach out and help. So when they don't get that response from the children, it makes them feel like, well, what am I doing wrong? Or right. Why won't they reach out to me? So I would say just come in with an open heart, and it would be a very great experience, one that they'll never forget. Great. And I was actually Bree's mentor. <laughs> so plug in, in plug in. in. <laughs> you know, so. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> No, but she's a sweetheart, and, uh, you know, I wish you continued success with everything that you're doing. Thank you. You're welcome. So how can people get involved with Rooted for Life? Oh, my goodness. It is so simple to get involved <laughs> with us. Um, you can contact us on Facebook at Rooted for Life. You can go to our website at www.rootedforlife.org, and there is a nice, big, huge picture up there <laughs> that says mentors. <laughs> mentors needed. We actually have open enrollment now, so we're accepting applications for scholars. And so we, for this particular program, which is the only program that we have right now, we don't have our basketball or performing arts, but for this particular program, we cater to grades 10 through 12. So if your scholar is going to be a 10th, 11th, or 12th grade in the fall, go ahead, go to go to our site and download an application. Download an application right now. <laughs> and how can people donate to the organization? See, that's a good one, too. There's this nice, big... <laughs> button on there that says donate. donate. <laughs> All right. There it is. <laughs> you just go right to the site and it's just real, you know, it's right there, right to the left. As soon as you get on, it says donate. <laughs> <laughs> and we would love to have those donations. <laughs> <laughs> donate, y'all. <laughs> it's where the community is, where the youth. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Um, so do you have any fundraisers coming up, any events that you can invite people At to? At the moment, we don't have anything that's coming up, but what I would like to work on very soon is a car wash. We're currently looking for a place to hold it. Yes, that was a plug-in. That's a plug-in. So <laughs> You all know somewhere where mm -hmm. she can have a car wash. Mm -hmm. It's for the community. It's, it's for, for the, the It's youth. for the kids. Come on, help us out. So we're looking we for, kids. yeah, we want some place to hold that car wash. So we would like to do a car wash fundraiser. In November, we're having a benefit concert. Okay. And so it's a free benefit concert. You know, it's for us. It is a fundraiser, though. But it's for us to raise funds for our kids, to take them on trips, to do the college tours, you know, to do the activities. That take money, y'all. <laughs> 
<laughs> and the, the benefit concert, who's going to perform? We have comedian Barry Brewer, who's coming out this year. We have Victory Praise dancers that will be there this year. We have gospel recording artist Roger Donald, who will also be our host this year. Um, and he will be co-hosting with actress Regine Nahi. We have some wonderful people that are, that will be here this year. You know, I don't want to give it all away to, to you guys. But I'm you sure know. it'll be on the website. It is on the website. <laughs> it is on the website, it rootedforlife.org. Right? Yes, rootedforlife.org. And so we have information about that. You know, um, sign up for our newsletter so that you'll be able to, to get all of that good info about the concert, any fundraising um, that we're doing, all of that. Rootedforlife.org, all the information on there. And yes. make sure you keep in contact. If you want to be mentor, make sure you get involved and get in contact with rootedforlife.org. Yes. If you have a scholar that would like to be involved, go to rootedforlife.org. Mm-hmm. .org. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want to donate, guess Rudiford where you can go. Org. <laughs> All the information is there. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Shelly Jones, it has been a pleasure interviewing you today. Thank also you. Also a pleasure working with you in this organization. Yes, now I have a question for you, Miss um, Ashley Caprice. What is the question? Um, will you be back at Rooted for Life for our new year? I will. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There it is. We got the commitment, you guys. <laughs> it's on tape. <laughs> I won't edit it out. <laughs> Um, any last words? Um, no, we're just very, I'm just very humbled. I'm humbled by everything that's been going on. I'm excited about our new year. I'm looking forward to working with a few more students. We had four graduate this year, so I'm really excited mm-hmm. about that. That's our first graduating class. Yes. <laughs> and so I'm looking for us to just really continue to expand. We're only trying to take over the world. Nothing serious. <laughs> Oh. That's it. We're just we're just trying to take over the world. One scholar at a time. Just one scholar at a time. And each one teach one. So whatever they learn, they can pass You know, pass we on just gonna next. pass it down and we're just gonna take over. And that's People what are gonna go outside and you know, rooted is just gonna be everywhere. Mm-hmm. And so that's that's pretty much it. We're just here to be of service and to just really try to help our youth um, get ahead. We just wanna be a stepping stone for a successful future. Oh, that's so admirable. So much success to you, Shelly Jones, Thank and you the organization. So much. And again, I will be back. Brene, All right. thanks for stopping by. Rooted for Life mentoring program. Make sure you go onto the website, rootedforlife.org, all the information, and thanks for coming by. Thanks, Ashley.